Good afternoon and welcome to ERADS Tips and Tricks. I'm Susanna Morris, Application Specialist. For this presentation, it will last approximately 10 to 15 minutes and it's being recorded. This video will be posted on our website for future reference. I will stop the recording to allow for a 15 minute question and answer session following these slides. In order to search for a specific study or group of studies on a work list, you need to apply a filter. A work list filter is a set of matching criteria that's applied to the complete study list. Up here, you can see that I've queried this entire system and I've pulled in over 16,000 studies on this list alone. Different filter tabs can be added up here to this bar for the user to customize your work list. The first way that you're going to start that is by filtering, and there's multiple ways to do that. For this example, we're going to filter by selecting and dragging the value we would like to filter this list by. I'm choosing date, so I simply select the column header date and pull it up to the top, and I selected the last 24 hours. When I hit my green check mark, it's going to initiate the query, and you can see that I've returned 166 studies now, as opposed to just over 16,000. The next way that you can filter is by right-clicking. You can right-click on a value. In this example, I'm right-clicking on unviewed, and I select filter on this value. It puts my, uh, my unviewed filter up at the top. And if I wanted to see everything that was other than unviewed, I would simply select the check mark that's beside it and change it to an X. I'm going to play that one more time. We'll right click on the status that we'd like to filter by. Filter on this value pops it right up top. And right now we're only filtering on unviewed. So if I select the check mark and change it to an X, it's going to change our filter value to not unviewed and it returns everything else that's in any other other status. You can filter further by multiple multiple values, excuse me. For this example here, I've pulled in DX only and that's all that's displaying on our list. But if I wanted to include other modalities such as CR or XA, I would put a semicolon in between my values that I'm querying. And that allows me to value or that allows me to filter by multiple values at a time as opposed to just one. If I wanted to see anything other than DXCRXA, I would again hit my check mark, changes it to not. And as you can see now, we're only returning CTs and ultrasounds. You can also filter by hidden filters, which does not require you to have to open your layout editor. So you come up to the top of your filter bar area and right click, and you will get this drop down list that shows you all the different things you can filter by. I'm choosing number of attachments and it wants me to put in a value. I'm saying, show me everything that has at least one attachment with it. And that is how you query by hidden filter. Once we have all of our filters selected, it's important for you to sort the data so that it makes sense. You can sort by chronological order, alphabetical order, just about any way that you'd like. There's a couple ways you can do that. Click and drag. So I'm selecting date and dragging it over to my sort area. And you can choose either ascending or descending by simply clicking on that date up in the sort area. And it changes it from ascending to descending or vice versa. Another way that you can sort is by right clicking. In this example, I'm going to sort by right clicking on priority and it placed priority back here and behind my date. But I want my priorities to show up and I want for this list to sort showing me my priorities over my date. So what I need to do is I'm going to need to pull my priority over and put it in front of my date so that, let's play that one more time. So we're going to right click and filter I'm going to sort on priority. It automatically places it behind the existing sort. In order for this to pull my priority of high up to the top of the list, I need to place that priority sort in front of date. And now you can see all of our priorities have sorted to the top 
And then our gate sorting criteria kicks in after that. Formatting your list is important and helpful for when you want to see things pretty clearly, easily up front. This is your layout editor, and this must be open if you're going to do any form of conditional formatting. We're going to do conditional row color on a high priority. We want those to stand out a little bit more. So I selected conditional formatting. I pulled in my high priority. I'm now going to select the color that I'd like for those rows to be. I chose yellow and hit apply. And you'll come over and close your editor. And now your list is conditionally formatted to show you all of the high priorities in yellow. And as always, do not forget to save your list after you make your changes or else you'll have to do it all over again. Thank you so much. I appreciate it and we'll see you next time.